Welcome. Your timing is perfect. If somebody got knocked out of your brackets, don't worry. There'll be another knockout coming very soon in the estimate of most people as they get ready to watch this middleweight championship fight. Yeah. Feels about Triple G. This is Daniel Jacobs. And so did Bosses in the first round. Now Triple Right, have landed a couple times. Good jab. In direction of the opponent making the ring smaller and smaller until his opponent's back is on the ropes or in the corner. Hey! To the night. Again, Max Kellerman pointed out hand, which is the classic tactic against the boxer at a certain moment. We're thinking, let There's his right hand over the top. Lovkin blocking the hook with his gloves. First two rounds have been, in effect, a war of nerves. Likely won by Jacobs. Daniel Jacobs, though CompuBox sees Golovkin landing more punches. I've seen Jacobs. He makes the other guy really fight. What happens when that happened? Wasn't clean for the main event. These two fighters have a tough act to follow. The fight was free. Fighter's been able to neutralize. Triple G starting to relax a little. But he was winning all the rounds behind his jab as he was cautious. Not sure that's the case here. He just got caught with a good hook. A very hard punches so far in the fight. Jacobs is taller, longer than... Longer reach, better box. Daniel Jacobs come and Triple G landed a jab coming inside. Threw it right up a cup, but Danny caught him on the inside with a good, quick hook. Just more of a slap shot than power because they were so close. To 26 out of 99. He fought a little. I mean, Triple G really didn't stop fighting. Two routes to one, Danny Jacobs. Hard right hand by Golovkin. Down goes Jacobs. Yep. First knockdown of the Three. fight comes four, in round number four. Five, Everybody six, wondered what would happen seven, when Golovkin eight, unleashed his power. There's one thing that happens. So Golovkin has knocked Jacobs down. Let's see if he'll cut loose. And most of his shots now, these are hard jabs right on the chin. Beautiful jabs. Uppercut is waiting in that time. He's going for the knockout. Again. Triple G. Jacobs just now, and he landed a nice right hand on Golovkin's head before that. Left hook lands for Golovkin, right hand as well. Jacobs good firing right hand back. from Daniel Jacobs. Firing back, giving a good account of himself and coming back from the knockdown ah! early in the round. So you see him in the southpaw position. This shot was the one that would have took him right down right away. That was the big shot. Then he went down from the second. So round number five. Two well placed right hands by Gennady Golovkin. Contracted and, and started to really do damage. Can Jacobs actually fight? It is impossible to stink Triple G out. Yes. Good body Great shot. body shot by Golovkin. Necessary. Exactly. I thought that was about turning southpaw. I thought Daniel Jacobs. No punches. Break, break, break. Hey! And another hey, final hey, flurry of the landing, or through round five, I should say. Golovkin Lancom's erupting sporadically. Certainly hasn't given up. Walk it. There you go. Around to you, Jim. Good shot. Sort of put his weaponry into the deep freeze just a little bit in round number six. And Daniel Jacobs showing more confidence, hey! stepping up and firing away. So for whatever reason, you have, to, you have no sense of urgency because all you got to do is catch him again. We've never seen Gennady Golovkin win a decision, though it happened. That was good defense by Danny Jacobs. He just got to be very... Yeah, or he could oh, be... Seconds left of the round. Ten seconds now Golovkin go. seems to oh, show an shot. to try to win it. Good shot. A good good shot, shot by Jacobs. Yeah. Yes. Charlie Fitz says, don't hold him behind the head. They both fire in the closing seconds, and they fight after the bell. has reversed in copy box. Jacobs now... Golovkin begins to focus on the right hand again. The one advantage I can see, it seems to be when Triple G does his best work. Yeah, exactly. Golovkin attacking a little more in this round. This is a competitive... Oh, this right, right hand by Golovkin. Jacobs in the eighth round. 
Uppercut for Golovkin, partially blocked. Lands a one-two. One more combination to close the show. Unusual territory for Renati Golovkin as we go to round nine. It was equal. Signal the beginning. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is he's still used to seek and destroy. He's not used to have. Than anybody has during the 23 knockout streak. Oh. Another good hook by Jack. Oh, good. Right up cut. Uppercut by Golovkin. Right hand by Golovkin. He's going to work. Showing a sense of urgency. Yeah. And got a little hop out of Jacob's right foot. Now good jab. Backs him into a corner. Good jab. That might have hurt him. And it got him in trouble. He might good have jab. Been in trouble Golovkin. With a chance to do something, but the round is going to come to a close. Nine. Jacobs gets out of trouble. <laughs> when Triple G. 84, Gennady Golovkin. Big shot. Jim, I think that Gennady's winning, you know. He's moving his hands very good. Ball stance, never saw that really. Oh, good right hand. Jacobs is firing in this particular round. Good block. Right hand by Triple G is head hunting. Jacobs is able to avoid some of those big shots. Throughout most of his oh, good hook by Dan. Another good hook by Dan. Give and take by both fighters. Good shots by Jacobs. That was a difficult. This is the round in which Golovkin knocked out Martin Murray two years ago in Monte Carlo. Once again, 23 can think it off there, so yes. Body shot by Golovkin. That's what he needs to do. Caught and beaten. Some solid fighters and middleweight championship of the world. I'm off the deck and does this. Mike Tyson came a cropper against Buster Douglas in Tokyo. Golovkin, because of his dominance, has been compared oh, to Tyson. Good hook. Both fighters landed down. Let's get it, Daniel Jacobs. Okay, break. Golovkin has been a method. Nadia Golovkin is at 23 now. Good, good, uppercut. good uppercut by Golovkin. Is very impressive tonight. Forcing Golovkin to try to on the angle. Oh, good right hand Great by right hand. Good right hand by Triple in the round. I agree. Right hand Jacobs. Needs another one like that. Right hand by Golovkin. Great, good punch. Good punch. Ten seconds to go. Ten seconds Who's going to gonna land the last shot? Buffett's ready now with the decision. Let's go to him. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Mecca of Boxing, Madison Square Garden, New York City, we go to the scorecards. A round of applause for both fighters in this middleweight contest. Don Trella and Steve Weisfeld have it 115, 112. Max DeLucas goes at 114 to 113. To the winner by unanimous decision, still undefeated and still the universally recognized middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Gennadyovich Golovkin, a.k.a. Triple.